Hello, pet parents. Robert Semro here, and I am joined by a true dog guru, someone I respect a lot, Robin Bennett. Robin, thank you for taking the time with us. Great. Thanks for having me. You do so much in the pet world. You are one of the dog gurus. Uh, let's talk about, I want to start by the training for pets is, is really so important, but there's a real practical side to that as well. Let's touch on that for a second. Well, the practical side is you can have a better relationship with your dog, be happier with your dog, and your dog's going to be happier if you have a training relationship because that training will build your entire bond with your dog. So everyone should do a little bit of training with their dog. Now, one of the myths out there is that you can't train a puppy or you shouldn't train a puppy. You and I both know that's wrong. Let's share why that's wrong. Well, you know, you bring a dog home, they're learning something every single day. Every time you're with them, one of the two of you is learning. We would like that to be the puppy, as opposed to you learning what the puppy would like you to do. They're learning it at seven, eight weeks old. As soon as you get that puppy in your house, I would start training. They're old enough to learn. And the same thing goes for a senior dog. If you adopt a senior dog, that training starts the moment you have them. Absolutely. You can definitely train an old dog to learn new tricks. I mean, you can teach a dog of any age. It's just if they have preconceived habits that they've already been doing, it might take a little longer to change those habits, but they're still going to be able to learn. So you can train any dog. Now, I know you've got a lot of things going on in the pet world. What are some of the hot buttons for you right now? My biggest hot button is pet care facilities taking the right care of the pets and pet parents making sure that they're doing the right things with their pets and using force-free methods and trying to be as positive with their pets as possible. And there's lots and lots of things you can do that will get your relationship with your pet and strengthen it while helping them learn without using force or intimidation. Well, I know you've got a lot going on. You've got a lot of great information out there, a lot of great education. If there was one thing that you could impart wisdom-wise into the pet parent community, what would it be? I think it would be have fun with your dog. And I mean, we all want our dogs, we get a dog because we love them. So have fun with your dog, find the best things that your dog wants to do. And it might be a different for every dog, but you really want to build that relationship. So whatever you can do to strengthen your relationship with your dog, that's what I'd be doing. Well, Robin, you've got a lot of great info in a couple of different places. Let's make sure folks know where they can go out and find that information. All right, my, my blog, which is for basic family pet training, is robinkbennett.com. And then I have information on how to be safe at a dog park and choose the right pet care facility if you're going on vacation at thedoggurus.com. Well, thank you so much for joining us. We really appreciate all that you do in the pet world, and you do Thanks, a lot. Thanks, I appreciate it.